Filipino boxing phenom Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao was set to face welterweight champion Errol Spence Jr. But the latter has withdrawn from their scheduled bout because of a left eye injury which led another boxer step in to fight in his stead. So what does this entail for the Philippine champion? Will Spence have a chance to fight against Pacquiao in the future? Find out more in today's video. Manny Pacquiao's reaction to Errol Spence Jr. withdrawal from title fight. Pacquiao was set to take on Errol Spence Jr. on August 21st, 2022 which is titled The Legend vs. The Olympian in the welterweight division in Las Vegas, Nevada. But due to an eye injury, Spence has withdrawn from the fight. Taking on the 42-year-old Philippine boxer become senator is none other than the 35-year-old Cuban boxer, Jordinus Yugos. This last-minute change in the lineup has a potential threat to Pacquiao. He'll be up against a southpaw opponent to an orthodox foe. First and foremost, I ask everyone to join me in prayer for a full and complete recovery for Errol Spence Jr., the Filipino boxer stated, Thank God his physical examination discovered his eye condition before he suffered any further damage. I have agreed to fight Jordinus Ugas on August 21st for the WBA Welterweight Super Championship. The proper way and the only way to win a world title is inside the ring. The only danger for this fight is the chance in stance. Pacquiao stated in an interview, Both Spence and Ugas are aggressive fighters, which I like. Spence, who's one of the most prolific pound-for-pound pound and undefeated elite fighters today, has held the welterweight gold since May 2017. In a press release reported by CBS Sports, Spence already aired his disappointment at withdrawing from the title match. I'm very disappointed that I won't be able to fight Manny Pacquiao, the 31-year-old boxer said. I was excited about the fight. Unfortunately, the doctors found a tear in my left eye and said I need surgery on it ASAP and there's no way I could fight with my eye in that condition. Spence concluded by saying, I like to apologize apologize to everyone. You know I'll be back soon. We've come back from worse. On the other hand, Hugus also released a statement on his upcoming fight with the multi-awarded boxer. It's an honor to fight the great multiple division world champion Manny Pacquiao as I am more than ready to take on this challenge. I have a tremendous amount of respect for Pacquiao, but I am coming to win this fight, the Cuban Express. He further added, everyone knows my story about how I came to America to follow my dreams of becoming a world champion, and now it's time to stamp my legacy with a victory as one of the best Cuban fighters to ever put on a pair of gloves. Pacquiao hints his retirement at the upcoming bout. Could be my last. At 42, Pacquiao is still one of the oldest boxers who's still quite active in the ring, but just recently, he expressed that his upcoming fight may be his last one. In an interview with Sports Inquirer, the boxer shared his thoughts. My contemporaries have all retired, he told a select group of Filipino sports writers. I didn't imagine still fighting here after all these years. You better watch, this could be my last fight, added Pacquiao, who is also an elected senator in the Philippines. There have been rumors of and running for a shot at the presidency in the upcoming elections. But of course, this isn't the first time Pacquiao hinted at his retirement. He already suggested that back in 2016, he fought Timothy Bradley for the third time, and in the same year, he was elected as a senator. Like Pacquiao, his opponent, Jordina Sugas, came from a rags to riches background. The ex Olympian shared his background, which he took to Twitter on August 17th, 2021, saying, God is good. You guys tweeted, I come from a communist country where I couldn't even become a professional. I became a free man. I became a champion. Now residing in my Miami, Florida, the Olympic bronze medalist added, I have a beautiful fiance and I have made mom proud. I have worked hard and with God's help, I have made dreams come true. Even Pacquiao acknowledges the similarities he has had with Yuga since years ago. He too was a last minute replacement to fight IBF junior featherweight champion Lelo Ledwaba. At the time, Pacquiao was the number three contender and had been training with Freddie Roach for a few weeks when he was offered the title fight. I used to be him. Yuga said Pacquiao, who now walks at 150 pounds, just three pounds over the limit with a full fight week ahead of him. Despite this, the Filipino senator has no problems hitting the weight limit or the will to rate rank, stating that he's happy that he's eating right. Fighting Ugas, a downgrade from Spence. Of course, people are already claiming that Ugas is the underdog in his scheduled bout against Pac-Man, plus some have been stating that the Cuban is a downgrade from the American champion. There's a bit of truth in there, but not so much since in his own right, Ugas is also a formidable fighter, and he has also has a height and reach advantage over Pacquiao, who stands at only 168 centimeters, while Ugas stands at 175 centimeters. Interestingly enough, Pacquiao is a great counterpuncher and has a good defensive ability to boot. Not to mention Pacquiao has a lot of experience compared to Yugas, but it's still too early to tell what the possible outcome of their fight would be like. There's also the fact that Pacquiao took some time off for two years, and in the sports industry, it's important to stay active. Hopefully, Pac-Man will make use of his innate boxing abilities to keep his butt off the mat in the fight against Yugas. In the end, I want to win belts. I'm excited for this championship fight, and I don't care if I'm the challenger or champion coming into it. We'll see who's the champion. Yugas knows the last minute switch has created the biggest fight of his 
career, which could be his greatest triumph if he can pull off an upset. I'm fighting for my legacy, Yuga said. This is the most important fight of my life. I'm well aware that Pacquiao is a favorite, but at the same time, I'm a champion. I face so many strong opponents to get to where I am. I have full confidence in myself and my ability to get a victory. People are still gutting for a Pacquiao versus Spence match. The question is, will it still happen? Folks at TV5 have been discussing the possibility and have shared their thoughts on whether or not their fight will take place in due time. Their panelists consist of Mike Coppinger, Fredo Komodo, and Ben Baby, who expressed their thoughts on the matter. Boxing Insider Mike Coppinger shared his opinions on whether or not Pacquiao versus Spence will push through after Pacquiao versus Yugas. There's certainly a chance that Pacquiao and Spence can reschedule their title fight down the line, but I wouldn't bet on it. Coppinger commented, if Pacquiao loses to Jordanis Yugas, a very real possibility despite the odds, then the alert of that fight is gone. But win, lose, or draw, it's more than likely Pacquiao calls it a career after Saturday. He turns 43 in December, and he's gearing up for a presidential run in the Philippines with the election to be held in May. Covinger also highlighted another factor to consider, Spence's eye injury. There's also another variable, Spence's health. A torn retina is one, of course, a serious injury. Spence underwent surgery Wednesday in Dallas to repair the tear and faces an uncertain future. By the time Spence is fully healthy and ready to fight, Pacquiao might already be retired. So for those reasons, I'll say not real. That would make this just another highly anticipated fight that was cancelled, never to be rescheduled. He added by saying, what a blow that would be to Spence, who was favored to add the legend to his growing resume of victories. There's no replacement for the kind of push he would have received from sharing the ring with Pacquiao. For now, we can only wait to see how Pacquiao performs against Yugis, what Pacquiao decides to do after the fight, and how long it takes for Spence to return to the ring. And although some say that Yugis is a downgrade from Spence, Coppinger believes that the Cuban is more of a threat to Pacquiao than Spence was. Yugis was a decade Created amateur from the vaunted Cuban boxing program who won a bronze medal at the 2008 Olympics in Beijing. Coppinger explains, at even 35, Yugis seems to be peaking. When he fought Sean Porter in 2019, Yugis proved he is one of the best welterweights in the world. The consensus opinion was that Yugis deserved the decision, but instead the judges narrowly gave Porter a split decision win. Coppinger also added that Pacquiao's current opponent adjusts pretty well, considering he was called to stop in the ring at the last minute. Yugis has had a history of fighting on short notice too. He has fared well since restarting his career. Yugis took two years off after starting 15-3, and three, but ultimately latched on with Premier Boxing Championships and hasn't lost outside of the Porter fight. Yugis has defeated Thomas DeLorme, Abel Ramos, and Omar Figuero along the way. Until next time, thanks for watching.